As of when I'm making this video, the Minecraft 1.20 Trials and Tales update has been out for just around one month now, giving the community plenty of time to explore the new cherry blossom biome, tame a group of camels, and build some truly awesome things. That is why today, in celebration of this amazing update, we're going to be looking at some truly insane new information straight from Mojang Studios itself, along with also going on to discuss what this could all mean for the next big Minecraft update, 1.21. Feel free to use those timestamps down below in the description, just blow that like button, and subscribe for more Minecraft news. So let's actually start by diving straight into this awesome information from Maljang Studios before we go more in depth as to how important this could be for Minecraft 1.21. This was tweeted to the official Minecraft Twitter account on June the 30th, saying it's been a busy time along the trails and tales. Now that itself is not too interesting, but what is, is the image that was attached below this tweet. As we can see, this is a ton of awesome information that Maljank have gathered over the past month or so, but what I find the most interesting is that around about 35 million armour pieces have been trimmed. Now, the reason I think this information is so awesome and also so important is because it does prove many people wrong, including myself, who have actually kind of doubted the Trails and Tales update over the past month or so. I really, really like this update, but in a previous video I did show the Google Trends statistics, and from that information it did seem that with the Trails and Tales update, people were generally less interested in Minecraft, and less people were actively searching up information about the game, which could imply that less people are interested about the update. I just want to go back to the this image a moment, because as you may have actually noticed at the bottom right, this is only the bedrock edition data, we do not know exactly the numbers for Java, but it does just go to show that millions of people still are jumping into Minecraft to experience a new update. So by no means has the Trails and Tales update been a failure, rather it seems it has been a pretty huge success. Real quick before we go on to the next pieces of information I actually actually want to talk about in this video, let's cover what this could mean for Minecraft 1.21. We mentioned the Google Trend statistics a moment ago, and how it did seem initially that less people were interested and searching for Minecraft around the time of this update's release. But what Mojang have shown and they have now proven is that millions of people are still interested in Minecraft and the latest update. Just the armor trims alone, 35 5 million armor pieces have been trimmed. These are very hard to get items, they are very hidden in the world of Minecraft. So what this does prove is not only are more people jumping into this update, not only are people enjoying it, but they are sinking tens if not hundreds of hours into Minecraft because of this update. I think this is both good and bad news for Minecraft 1.21. I've seen quite a few differing opinions about Maljang's approach to Minecraft 1.20 over the past month or so, and I've seen a lot of people criticising Maljang for these quote-unquote time-wasting mechanics. Some people believe that the sniffer seeds, the armour trims, and even the decorative parts are all hard to get and they take hours and hours to even find in survival. It is quite clear that Maljang did this to add an increased challenge to Minecraft with this update. They really wanted people to go on these massive adventures searching for these rare new items. And clearly it did work, tons of people are sinking hundreds of hours in into this new update, most likely a lot more than they did with the world update, maybe even the caves and cliffs update. Just because of how awesome these new items are, and how hard they actually are to acquire in survival. I think based upon this information, and based upon how successful this update has been for Minecraft and Mojang Studios, that they are likely to kind of repeat this process and strategy with Minecraft 1.21. Now let's move on to some exciting global Minecraft Trails and Tales update events which have been taking place recently. This was tweeted on June the 23rd saying join us now for our worldwide Trails and Tales 
event. Visit a theme park like no other where you can race camels, compete in archaeological digs, eat treats and more. Don't miss out, the event is only live on Minecraft Bedrock Edition until Sunday June the 25th. So obviously this was a huge event held by Mahjong Studios for Minecraft Bedrock Edition to celebrate the launch of Minecraft 1.20. Unfortunately I missed out on this event myself, but from what I've heard it was awesome. Echo, a big Minecraft content creator, did have this to say though on June the 28th. Saying I just want to point out, these Minecraft server events are just not long enough. They should be 5 to 7 days. And I'm assuming this was about that Trials and Tales event. All in all though, it is awesome to see Mojang Studios interacting with the community like this again, and just creating these awesome experiences that everyone can enjoy. So earlier on in the video, we actually talked about some of those statistics, which are actually pretty crazy for Minecraft 1.20, but let's now talk about some other pretty cool information. Mojang tweeted this on June the 22nd, saying new to Minecraft, or no some Someone interested in starting, we have new tips for beginners section on our website to learn how to begin your journey. Now, I am quite sure that Mojang does this with basically every single Minecraft update where they create a new friendly page for new Minecraft users. So basically, if you're new to the game or maybe playing after a long break, you have a great way to reintroduce yourself to the world of Minecraft. But what this does show to me and many other people is that with this update especially, Mojang really is thinking about the greater impact of this Minecraft update. And they not only want to make existing Minecraft players happy, they not only want to pull back old players that maybe are taking a break from the game, but they also expect Minecraft 1.20 to pull in a bunch of new players that maybe have never tried Minecraft. Which is honestly awesome, and I'm very happy to see Mojang Studios taking this approach, where they're not just focusing on the established community, they're getting out there and they're trying to introduce new people to Minecraft. I think the awesome new camel and the stunning new cherry blossom biome will definitely help to draw in some new players. And yeah, I think this is something Mojang will continue to do with future Minecraft updates, where they not only listen to the established Minecraft community, but add completely new things to try to draw in completely new players. Now we're at the part of the video where you can help to change Minecraft. If you have any amazing ideas, any features you would like to see Mojang add to the game, be sure to comment down below and do this Mojang. I'm very grateful that sometimes the developers do check in on these videos and really enjoy looking at comments for feedback and suggestions. I'm definitely really interested to know what you would like to see Mojang add to the game. For more information about a recent piece of very important information that Mojang did recently drop, be sure to check out this video on screen right now. I definitely recommend everyone hearing this watches that video if you've not already, because it is very important news that could save your Minecraft account. 